Breaking news is in Detroit's Midtown, a condo fire there. This is near the Lodge and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Chopper 7, as you can see here, over the scene with those uh, flames just raging. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on the ground now with the latest for us on this. Kim. And what a tremendous effort, Joanne, by Detroit firefighters. Take a look behind me here. The fire is extinguished at this point, and thankfully we understand no residents and no firefighters sustained any serious injuries. At least one of the men who lived in that unit did sustain some injuries, some slight burns to his head when he was trying to get out of the fire. Now take a look at this video we have from Chopper 7. Two young men were actually sleeping in that unit when the smoke alarm woke them up. One told me he's a Wayne State student. He says his roommate is a bartender. Thankfully, they were able to get out alive, but the student told me he actually went into the smoke to grab his phone and wallet. Then there were people who actually were able to go to the other units and tell everyone to get out. Uh, they said it was a fire, so I just came out and it was just flames everywhere. Just stuff just started falling off and everywhere. So. And who was knocking on your door? One of the uh, staffs who works here. What goes through your mind when you see all that like that right now? We're hoping everybody all right in there. Do you think everybody got out? Yeah, they got out. And it really is an amazing job by firefighters and management who went around to alert people to get out of the building because this is such a condensed, tight area. These are townhomes here. We're at the Woodbridge Estates. If you've ever been in this area, in the Midtown area, we're just west of the lodge um, near Martin Luther King Drive. And just, I mean, just an amazing effort. Firefighters, of course, are going to be on the scene here. It's still unclear how this fire started. The Wayne State student that I talked to said that it looked like it was in either the kitchen area or the air conditioning closet where it was started. He says he was in a dead sleep when this, the smoke alarms woke him up, but thankfully he was able to get out alive. You're going to hear his story later today on Action News, and I'm telling you, this young man has a story to tell about going back in for items like a phone and a wallet, something he says he would never do again. Back to you. Kim, you know, before you go, we see remarkable pictures from fires all the time, but amazing to me when you yeah. look that that one unit is, is completely destroyed, but that the units next to it looked like nothing happened at all, that they were able to contain it there. And that's, and that's a tremendous effort by the firefighters, yeah, because if you take a look behind me here, you can obviously see that one unit is destroyed. Now, we're told that two units did sustain fire damage, and two other units, I'm guessing probably the units on either side adjacent to the two units that were destroyed by fire, did sustain some smoke damage. Now, who knows what's going to be salvageable at this point. It's really probably too soon to tell. But, yeah, that they were able to contain it just to that is really says and, uh, that Detroit firefighters truly did an amazing job. I'm here. Back to you. They really did. When you looked at those flames, incredible, Kim. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Glad no one was seriously hurt.